and there you have it um 69.18 um look uh, how do i start i wish i could swear all right admittedly i wish i could swear i'm not going to swear because i just don't think it looks good you know when you're ranting um rubbish gutless weak pathetic um just an absolute abhorrent um showing there from free mantle um Everyone all got G'd up, you know, uh, at the start of the game when, when our captain decided to, uh, you know, try and razzle up, lob, right, shove and push and get the crowd in. And uh, obviously that turned out to be a, an absolute um, backfiring there. Um, Rory Lob obviously got a few goals, right? Ultimately he had the last laugh, um, which, which, which is well deserved because of how pathetic we are. Um, I don't even get what's up with this team anymore. I'm actually so surprised at how far we've fallen off. Um, again, if you're going to lose the game, you lose a tight one, sure. But, you know, <laughs> 69 points to 118, right? There's no ways to describe the game. Our forward line is a mess. Um, kicking the ball to Walters repeatedly, right? Um, expecting a different result Doing the same thing is, is the definition of insanity. Um, I don't know what sort of game plan Longmuir has constructed. I I'm sick of I'm sick of a few things. Um, I'm sick of um, Alex Pierce. Um, respectfully, respectfully, I, I I'm not going to disregard what he probably goes through. What what he's probably going through in terms of mental health. Okay, so I need to clear that up. I'm not going to um, sit here and, and pretend that I'm you know that he's not going through things. I understand that. But when a player's not playing well and he's the captain, it reflects and it just shows throughout the bloody team. I'm so sick and tired of seeing this guy fumble the ball and he's not the only one, but he's the captain. He's the one who wears the badge. He's supposed to be our captain. And if our captain's fumbling the ball left, right, center, barely even able to contest, then where does that leave the rest of us? I feel like there was just only a few slick players who tried. Brayshaw, Sarong, Freddie, Walters. Granted, though, again, um, you know, Luke Ryan, Hayden Young to a degree. But I feel like there were some players there who were out of their depth. O'Meara, Wagner, right? There's a reason why he hasn't been picked up. Again, respectfully, I'm not trying to call these players out. But how frustrating is it? A home game as well. Points on the line. And that's what we produce. We gave up in the fourth quarter. Head down. Every time we got a goal, particularly in the first or third quarter, it was, you know, obviously the Bulldogs were in front, but I mean, we, we couldn't even stop them from scoring goals. We we couldn't do anything. This team here is absolutely woeful. I, like I said, apologies, people, but I could swear my head off here, and I think it'll probably be more effective than how I'm feeling now with trying to be constructive. We were too busy booing Rory Lobb. We were so amped up about Rory Lobb coming over that we forgot everything. And again, I'm not, that's just a more silly approach to it, but you get my point. You know, these fans here, these Freer fans, fair enough if you're going to boo him, but surely you got to stop, especially when the scoreline was the way it was. You know what I mean? He came over like Logue and they had the last laugh, right? If you want the last laugh, if you want to extend some, uh, you, you know, your, if you want to get the four points, come over to Fremantle, come over to Optus Stadium. And beat us there, unless you're the Eagles. In which case, hopefully, and thankfully in this case here, we're going to rely on some heavy injuries in order to win. This team has fallen so far down the crack, it's not even funny. It's 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 beyond cracks in the glass here. It's, it's completely shattered. Um, it's exposed. I have a we have a coach here in Longmuir who, respectfully, is 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 a nice guy, but. And I'm not saying it's entirely his fault. I, I genuinely believe there's some players who shouldn't be playing. But then if he's going to keep on picking them, then I suppose the onus is on him. Oh, my gosh. Luke Jackson, again, sure. But, you know, again, struggling to mark. And you know what I can't believe as well? There's that five-year plan, apparently, right? To That five-year window we're looking to, to try and grab a, a premiership in. This is year three as well, uh, if you don't know the context, right? Um... And on top of that as well, Peter Bell obviously in securing Jackson as well has obviously given up our first, our top 10 pick, right? Unprotected. Unprotected. Um, first round pick 
to the D. So, <laughs> you know, this team here just absolutely rips my heart apart because <sighs> these are no words. These are no words. Um, our back line is crap. Our midfield's tried, I suppose. Our forward line is shocking. We got Nat Fife there who's injured. Right, Tabner's dealing with a back issue. Um, you know, from week to week, we're trying to debate whether Liam Henry should even play or not. We've got a captain who shouldn't be captain, respectfully. Uh, we've got a fan base who's continuing to be hurt every single bloody week. Um, I am... Oh my gosh. I, I watched the whole game. I watched the game so I could give you guys my perspective. And there's not much else to say. We, we gave up. We gave up. It's embarrassing. We are done. We're not making the top eight. All right? I try to be really optimistic and give you guys something to smile about, um, but I can't. Um, if you can see us making the eight, good luck because we've got the Lions, right? I believe we've got the Swans, and then I think the Hawks and the Cats in the middle of all that. And if we can't even beat the Bulldogs or or, or, or the Roos or can ba barely just get past an injured Eagles team and the Suns team, that's all she wrote then, ladies and gentlemen. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Um, this team's just... Oh, this team's just scrap. This team's scrap. Rubbish. Um, I don't think I'll be tipping for you for a while. I think it's safe to say we'll probably win one. or I reckon we'll probably win the next... I reckon we'll win four four to five games, maybe all up. I'm so devastated because I actually generally thought we'd have a chance here to make inroads for this year. Um, and what an absolute balls up. What a doozy. And it makes me think as well, you know, letting low go, letting acres go. Why? You know... Hindsight obviously is a funny thing just quickly. But you know what? And honestly, if, if if I was to predict and, and if I could read the future, I would not have signed Luke Jackson at all. Now I know it's early and blah blah blah, but you gotta remember this is a seven year deal. And uh man. What a place to be. Um What an embarrassing thing. You know, you got the likes of Sarong Young. Ryan, all these players, particularly the Victorian players, who are obviously signing in, believing, and then this happens, and then this is when the whole, you know, who's going to coach us, or who's going to stick around type thing comes around. I'm all for Bob Murphy, all right? I'm done. Um, what an absolute disastrous start, and uh, there's no top eight for us. Pathetic. I'm done. Like, f honestly, <sighs> stuff you for you. You guys are gutless, honestly. You guys are gutless.